Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to build assessments, quizzes, and tests in Kajabi. Now, I'm gonna start by going through the two different options you have when creating your assessments, quizzes, and exams in Kajabi. Then I'm gonna go through how you can use the automations within Kajabi to make it so that your learners have to complete a certain number of modules or lessons in Kajabi before they can even have access to their tests quizzes and assessments. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you how you can set up automations to do different things upon your students passing, failing, and completing their exams in Kajabi. And in order for you to get the most out of this video, what I wanna do is share with you a 30-day free trial of Kajabi that you can grab right below this video. Now, in addition to getting a 30-day free trial instead of a 14-day free trial by using my affiliate link, I also wanna throw another bonus in for you, my Kajabi made simple online course which is going to help you get everything set up in Kajabi that you need to A to Z to start marketing and selling online courses and serving your learners by the end of that 30-day free trial. And then you can follow along with what I'm going through today. All right, now I use Kajabi to run both of my online businesses, eLearning Partners and Athlete with Asthma. It does everything I need from hosting my online courses, my communities, to taking payments and doing payment processing, to doing all my email marketing, to hosting my website, to allowing me to create landing pages, to forms, all, the, all of the different things that I need to do to run both of my online businesses, Kajabi does for me, okay? Okay, so I'm logged in to Kajabi under Athlete with Asthma here. Much smaller brand than eLearning Partner, so my numbers aren't very impressive yet. But here we go. So what you wanna do is you're gonna find the ability to create these exams, these tests that you have for your learners in two places in Kajabi, okay? The first place is gonna be under context, okay? On the side here, you go under context, you're gonna see assessments. This is the first place that we can create these tests, okay? The second place is directly within our product. So if I go into a course, I have one course for Athlete with Asthma, I open it up, it's called Drop 30 and Keep It Off. In this course, I teach you how to sustainably drop 30 pounds and actually keep off the weight in perpetuity. Okay, so here's how it's set up. What I can do is I go to Add Content and I can add a quiz. So these are the two places. Kajabi has the ability to add something called quizzes and the ability to add something called assessments. Now, I'm actually gonna start with the quiz and then I'll show you assessments as well. Okay, quizzes, assessments, it's just the vernacular that Kajabi uses. You can use quizzes for exams, okay? So our client over at CoStar, we use the quiz feature to run all of our certification exams. So at CoStar, we have multiple certifications, okay, that people purchase, then they take an exam, and then they get sent a certificate. Okay, once they pass the exam with a 70% or higher, they get two attempts. Two attempts, and they get issued the certificate, okay? Then they can buy a third attempt if they want. So let's go into quiz. So we use quizzes for this. So I'm just gonna add a quiz to start, all right? So go to add content. This is where you can add all these other things. If you wanna learn how to use Kajabi, I highly recommend you grab that 30-day free trial and get access to my Kajabi Made Simple online course, okay? There's also videos on the channel that go deep into this, like my Kajabi LMS reviews that I do on a yearly basis. So I go to quiz. Here's what it looks like, okay? So quiz is, we can give it a name, so we go to settings and call this drop 30 exam, okay? and describe it, set a passing grade. So 70%, and then yeah, I'm gonna send an email to member with link to results, so I wanna do that. Mm. Prevent member from marking quizzes complete without a passing grade, yes. Hide answers on result page, yes. And I'm not gonna send an email with results, okay. And then completion email, send a completion email with a link to results. Send a completion email to my team, yes. So I want to tell myself 
when people complete this quiz, or I'm calling it an exam. Okay, can add an image here, etc. Okay, and then the results are here. So once people actually start completing it, all the results are gonna show here. Okay, so we go to questions. I go to add a question, and I have different question types. I have four different options here. Okay, multiple choice, check boxes, short answer, and then file upload. File upload is they'll literally upload a file to answer the question, and then we have to manually grade it. Short answers are also gonna be manually graded. Check boxes and multiple choice are gonna be auto graded. Okay, so when we add a multiple choice question like what are the three pillars to healthy living? Okay, I teach that in my online course. Then we can actually go to check boxes and we're gonna go accountability. I'm gonna add another option, movement. Add another option, rest, add another option, and this will be tracking. And I'll add another option. I'll tell you the answers. The answers are accountability, movement, and tracking, running. That's obviously not the right one, but okay. And then what we can do is add an explanation for why each of these is correct, okay? So this is actually pillar number three of healthy living, okay? And this is actually pillar number one. And then this is actually pillar number two. Okay, so there we go. We can also attach an image. So if you have an image that you want to assess people on, that you want to ask questions about, you attach the image here. Then we save. So then we can add a new question. We can just keep adding questions. Now, I highly recommend that you save after every question that you add because you don't want to accidentally exit the page and then all the questions go away. It's also set to draft right now. We can publish it whenever we want. So I'm gonna actually publish it and then click on the eyeball here and this is gonna give us a preview. So the preview of the exam looks like this. We just go start now and then it's gonna have all the questions here and they're all on the same page, okay? Let's go to contacts, assessments. Okay, so assessments are used for people who aren't actually in your online courses. This is something that you can have on your website. We're actually, by the time you're watching this, it's probably live, but we have something called the LMS assessment tool. That's the working title. It's probably called something much cooler than that. What the assessment does is it allows us to create something kind of like typed form where we get some data from people and then we can add automations to do something based on that data, okay? But this is not inside your course. This would be like on your website, on your page, on your home page, on a landing page. So if I go get started, new assessment, we're gonna call it just a test automatically grade, yeah, we'll do a passing grade of 70. So you can also do passing grades, and this is gonna look very similar to the quiz, it's just a different purpose, okay? So assessment details, send a completion email, a link to results, send completion email to your team, all the same things, okay? So I'll get a completion email. Always show assessment results breakdown, here's different languages, okay? So start text, like click the button below to start, you pass the assessment, you failed, so we can customize all this and use our own terminology. Then we can add automations, okay? Then we go to edit questions. Let's save this, okay? And uh, similar things, we add questions over here. So multiple choice, paragraph, file upload, all these things, okay? It's all the same stuff except we can also add sections to break up the questions. So I add the multiple choice. This could be, you know, what is your biggest challenge with losing weight right now, okay? And then we can have, add an answer, and it could be like, uh, sticking to it. We can add tags for different answers, okay? So I'm not actually gonna say correct, I'm just gonna say sticking to it, okay, save. And I'm go back and I add another one. Eating enough calories, or eating enough macronutrients, okay? And I can add a tag if I want. 
So for the LMS assessment tool, I actually tag different answers and that allows me to tell you which LMS you ultimately need based on those tags. So it can add different automations, okay? So if you have this tag, this tag, and this tag, then this LMS is perfect for you. If you have this tag, this tag, and this tag, then this LMS is perfect to you. So that's how I use it, okay? So really simple, we just keep adding and then you can just add a tag related to the answer. Okay, once it's all built out, we can actually take this assessment, we can view the results here, okay. Don't have any results yet. And then we can just host it in different places. Okay, so I can go to my website, go to a landing page here, and yeah, let's just open up this random landing page. Add section, and assessment. Okay, so then I have this assessment, we go into the assessment, we pick the assessment, and boom, here it is. Okay, and then I can move this wherever I want it on the landing page. So, I'll probably move it up here, and there it is. So this is what assessments are for. Similar thing, so you know you're building something to get data from someone, you, that can be a graded quiz. So you can be like, hey, you score 70% or more and we're gonna give you a free coupon, right? And then you can set the automation upon completing the assessment, get an email with a free coupon, okay? So let's start talking about some of these automations. So I go back in the courses and automations are the same for assessments and quizzes, okay? It's just where, where it exists, where the, assessment and the quiz or the exam exists is different. One is external, so people who haven't paid anything, and then one is internal, so people who have paid. Kajabi is an external learning management system, one that's built to help you market and sell online courses. So here we go. We have our exam here. Cool thing is, what we can do is we can actually, one thing we can do, I'm gonna create a module actually. This is gonna be my exam module. Okay, so here's my exam module. I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna pull it into my exam module. Okay, so drop 30 exam is gonna be pulled into my exam module. Okay, so what we can do is really cool. I'm gonna publish this. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock it. So we can lock people out of taking the exam until they finish the course, okay? So what I wanna do is lock it here. Really depends on if I want them to do it before the bonus or after the bonus. I'm actually gonna have them do it before the bonus. Okay, so I put the exam here, so I'm gonna lock this based on recap of what you learned. Okay, here we go. So people aren't gonna be able to take the exam until they finish the entire course. And specifically, once they finish this last lesson recap of what you learn the next steps, then it's gonna open the exam. Now I'll show you what this looks like. So if I go here, so I have this open, okay? And it says exam here, but it's locked, okay? So we just go through and then once everyone, technically they could skip down to this recap and go complete module and then the exam's gonna open up because I go to next and it, yeah, here's the exam. So now the exam's unlocked, but the reality is people probably aren't going to figure that out, okay? So they are forced to go through the entire course before taking the exam, and then they can start it, okay? So that's one cool thing that you can do so that they just don't even have access to it. The other thing you can do is create a lesson where you have a video that tells people about how the exam works. This is what we've done for CoStar, where we literally give the rules of the exam in a video. And we have that in a lesson, and then we have our exam locked until someone actually completes that lesson. So that makes sure that they go through that lesson, they get the rules of the exam, like here's what it's covering, here's how it works, here's like, no, make sure, like there's the time limit, Here's how you access it. Here's how it works with getting your certificate. You can put all that in the video and then have it unlock once people finish that lesson, finish that video, okay? Okay, so that's one automation we can do. Now, what I wanna do is go into the Drop30 exam and go to 
some settings here, okay? We have automations, okay? So we can do automations here, where we click on an automation, and we can go when quiz is completed, failed, or passed. So if you want to have something happen upon just the quiz being completed, it doesn't matter if it's failed or if it's passed, then you can go is completed, and then do a bunch of these things. So what you can do is upon the quiz being completed, we can subscribe to an email sequence. We can even send just an email. We can also tag the contact saying that they finished the quiz. So there's all these different things that we can do. We can also send them a single use coupon. Same thing when we're looking at automations for our assessments, right? So they finished the assessment, we can send them a single use coupon. We can also send them a certificate. Now we probably don't want to send it just because they completed it. You want to send it because they passed. When they passed the quiz, we can send them a certificate. Okay. When they fail the quiz, we can send them an email saying, hey, you need to retry again. Okay. So just different things. Okay. So you also don't have to necessarily use this as an exam. You can have quizzes throughout your content. And same thing. Maybe we want to have multiple quizzes throughout our course after specific lessons. And same thing. You can lock it so they have to finish that lesson before they get access to that quiz. So that's how we use Kajabi's quizzes and assessment tools to create quizzes assessments and exams in Kajabi. Now, I highly recommend that you grab your 30-day free trial of Kajabi. It's linked in the description below the video. And by using my link, you're not only going to get that 30-day free trial instead of a 14-day free trial, I'm also going to throw in my Kajabi Made Simple online course to get you up and running with Kajabi so you can start marketing and selling your online courses and serving your learners today. I'll see you in the next video.